this year prior to the big finale. Legends Rugby Showdown. Legends match. There will be a Legends game. Winning captains since 1995. Captains Lokkuma. Aurobici Park. Kaling Hitupukatte. Captains were won. Just that. Juni Vishyatravinda. Milo Trophy. Finals Davase. Between the Milo Whites and the Milo Greens. Fans to come and join with us. Yeah, and I hope you all will enjoy uh, witness the game. The knockout final like a balanath. I hope all of you guys will be there. I think Aradhana uh, Karnava. Dina Mamad Balaburutte Noa. It will be a great day to recall the memories. It's going to be a new experience, fun day before the start of the final. Hope you guys could join us and watch that game as well. Aya used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's the day everything changed. Milo Energy, from the goodness of milk, malt, barley and chocolate, brings out the best in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life. The pull of the crown, the overpowering of a tackle, the thrill of scoring, the feeling nothing compares with. Milo President's Trophy. First semi-final between St. Joseph's and Dagmaraja on 17 June at 4.15 p.m. Second semi-final between St. Peter's and Isipathana on 18 June at 4 p.m. Live and exclusive on Dialogue Television Channel 1, thepaparay.com and Dialogue My TV. A very good evening and welcome to Sugadadasa Stadium. As you can see, it's perfect conditions up in the heavens. Down on the ground, underfoot conditions, excellent as well. We are here for the first semi-final between Dharmaraja College and St. Joseph's College. What a cracker it's going to be. Uh, Dharmaraja coming into this game as a warm-up, uh, as after a walkover against Ra Royal, not participating in that quarter-finals. St. Joseph's beating Wesley College comprehensively. And they walk in uh, as one of the big ones in the final four when considering uh, for the championship uh, lined up on your left in the screen is the St. Joseph's uh, lineup. Dharmaraja yet to walk out and uh, as the Maori All Blacks have just gone down to the British Irish Lions down in Rotorua in New Zealand. 32 points to 10. How is that end? Yes, the big game here in Sri Lanka. St. Joseph's taking on Dharmaraja for the Milo President's Knockout Trophy. Coming to you live from the Sugadadasa Stadium. Big match for both teams. As I said before, Dharmaraja traveling down. The only team to survive from Kandy and St. Joseph's along with Isipatana and St. Peter's which will be played tomorrow in semi-final two at this same venue. St. Joseph's team in a huddle warmed up outside the stadium in the practice pitch. Just getting a feel of things uh, and the Sukhadidasa Stadium, which they played their last game against Wesley as well. We'll go into a commercial break and we'll come back with uh, the team cards and also the kickoff in a bit. Stay tuned to the papre.com. Aya used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's the day everything changed. Milo Energy, from the goodness of milk, malt, barley and chocolate, brings out the best in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life. Fitness Diaries, in a mission to uplift the fitness arena in Sri Lanka.
breakdown into entry Lankan rugby. Samahar Vishleshan and Tienoa, Eva Samahar Lava, Harian that Puluang, Varadin that Puluang Kosa. You get can I finish the Krida Donskia? Apidana Muna the Siduan Nigra, Goda de Katakara and Pulum Pitia and Pitia, Namu Siala Siduan, Pitia Tuladi. Pitia at the Mata Kata, when the Pulum Pitia Atule Kata, when the Pulang, a cricket Vishleshan at Makabo, Ubata, Samakaranata, Abisudan in Gina, Pitia Kata Tulin, Randin Abitek, the Papere dot com, Sri Lanka, a Premukotama Krida with Adi Sama. Good afternoon and welcome back to the Sukhothadasa Stadium as we eagerly await the kickoff of this first semi-final in the 17th Milo Knockout Tournament. And this is uh, St. Joseph's College on the left taking on the Rajans lined up on the right there as you look at your screen on the papare.com. And uh, it's going to be a very, very important match for both these teams historically as it's their chance to enter their first ever knockout final. Neither of these teams have made a final before so it will be a historic occasion for whichever team emerges winners. As we watch uh, referee Rohan Ferdinando leading out his uh, team who will be officiating this match should be a very fast open game because both these teams have very little to lose. St. Joseph's will go in as the favourites in this game but uh, that means nothing once the whistle is born. Joining me in the commentary box, Dinuk Baskaran, a hot afternoon and uh, Joseph should go out favourites. Yeah, you, Joseph should go on favourites. Dharmaraja travelling to uh, Colombo and the only team surviving from that uh, uh, list of uh, candy teams that have come down. Obviously, they had a walkover against Royal. Uh, but as you said, yes, Josephs have that skill and, uh, and the team to go through the entire distance of today's 80. Here's the uh, Josephian uh, team card for you to hand. Sanyi Ratna, Sven Muller, the big hooker. Thiraka Santos, uh, Shehan Iran, the Nimesh Kavin, the Vihanga Pereira, Tarindu the Alvis. And watch out for Gihan Pereira in the H jersey, who has been impressive. Rashayan Gunawad, the Nachatra Sanyi Ratna moves back to number 10. Kavin the comes in on the left wing. Samira Viranga moves outside to number 12. Vinul Fernando comes in from the back three into the centres. Sachit Silva and Kamunu Chetia will be the danger man. Scored a couple of tries in the semi final as well. So a dangerous St. Joseph's. There, Dinuk. Yeah, very dangerous as you said uh, in the plate finals against uh, in the semi final against quarter final against uh, Wesley. They beat 43 29 and a lot of lot of players scored a lot of points. There is the Dharma Raja starting lineup Buena Kudanga, Mua, Patirana, Hetia, Rachi, Raja, Hari Pitya, Galapi together, Pereira, Abe Ratna, Desha Priya, Piyatisa, Sandeepa, Malinga, Dananja, De Silva, and Epa completing that. Uh, Dharmaraja lineup. These are replacements bench for both teams. Uh, Tangaya, Vichay Sekara, Akila Pereira, Vishwa Pereira, John Ganegoda, Channa Ashok, 
Algama Shan Akila who drops to the uh, bench uh, this afternoon and Imesh Tisanaika and for Dharmaraja is Vijay Siri Kumara Ekanaika Rajapaksa Gayashan Madhuanta Kapuatta Kulupana, Ratnavira and Disanayaka making up the reserves bench. Both these teams must be really G'd up because it's come back to the Sukhidasa Stadium this uh, tournament, uh, Dinuk, and it's a wonderful ground to really play at. A lot of teams don't get the opportunity to play here, so they rise to the occasion. Yeah, it's a it's it's a long history, isn't it? There's a huge history behind uh, the Milo President's Trophy at Sukhidasa Stadium. A lot of the past players, if you talk to them, they'll always say they play the President's Trophy at the Sukhidasa Stadium, and yes, They'll cherish this occasion. They'll they'll try and enjoy to the maximum they can, and uh, come out on top. Should be a very interesting game, that's for sure, because the heat is uh, pretty bad at the moment. The humidity factor will come into play, and the conditioning of these Josephian boys, uh, who look uh, who look pretty strong, finished the season with a pretty strong run at the end of it uh, as well in the uh, league tournament. And uh, Dharmaraja, let's not forget, Dinuk, that they ran Royal very, very close. It was a couple of points in that. So this is a team that has played in the A Division, that a team that knows what to expect. What do you think uh, their game plan will be? The school song's done with, and this is where the adrenaline will really start pumping. St. Joseph's getting into their huddle there, and the Rajans will be doing pretty much the same off your screen as well. They are getting into a huddle there as well. The referee is getting into a huddle. So everybody just getting a last bit of reminder of what they need to do. And uh, Dinuk, uh, what do you think Dharmaraja are going to do? Going in as underdogs into this game, are they going to throw everything at them early on? Yeah, they'll throw the kitchen sink at them. They, they have nothing to lose here. They have. As you said, uh, they played. A, they had a very close game against DC Patan and also Royal, but that totally different conditions. Played up in Candy, rainy conditions, and they, that suited them. Uh, don't forget, they have some dangerous name in there, the skipper, and also Udangabu, uh, who is a good ball carrier. Their defense will be tested. Uh, Saint Joseph's Dharmaraja in that uh, league uh, league encounter was not that interesting, but uh, they will want to pay back of those. Certainly will as the uh, Josephians gather around the centre mark, say a final prayer and uh, wish that uh, whatever divine intervention will come will be in their favour. It's nice to be back here at the Sukhidasa Stadium after a little bit of a break from this uh, venue for the President's Trophy, the Milo Knockouts. Very prestigious trophy indeed. 
Isipatra will be the firm favourites to uh, pull this one off given the semi-final lineup. But St. Joseph's will be thinking that uh, now that Royal is not in this tournament, that Trinity have been knocked out, this might just be their chance of winning a big trophy in the rugby uh, arena. Not their forte, you know, and this will maybe just a year. Yeah, this, this may be. And they are just clicking at the right time as well, latter part of the tournament. And this team has clicked us together. Don't forget there is Isipatan also, but it's an injury uh, in Isipatan, a team that uh, will play against St. Peter's tomorrow. And it's a big game for them. They need to focus here first before moving on to the next one. Certainly can't get, afford to get ahead of themselves. They need to win the semi-final. And uh, whichever one of these teams does that, they will be advancing into their first ever knockout tournament final. So uh, that's a big deal for both these teams. But unfortunately, it's a mistake from the kickoff against the wind. St. Joseph's probably opted to play into the wind. And uh, that wind which uh, comes in from the left to right on your screen and swirls a little bit in this stadium, in this athletics track stadium, has caused a few problems first for the Josephians. The kickoff going well short of the 10 meter mark. So an opportunity for Arjuns early on. Yeah, uh, early opportunity. Interesting to see how they line up off your screen. That they have lined uh, four to two uh, to le onto their left side. Uh, it'll be an interesting option to take. St. Joseph's have split their defense. Not ten. Chatura Seniviratna will kicking himself. Well, that uh, was pretty telegraphed because they wanted the uh, blind side open nicely. They moved all their backs onto one side, and the number eight broke away. But well dealt with by uh, Gamunu Chetia in the end. The grubber kick just a little too far to trouble the Josephian fullback who takes play all the way up to the 10 meter mark. Yeah, that grub had to go into touch if uh, Dharmaraja had, had something to play with. It gives a great opportunity for St. Joseph now to hit back. Abhi Ratna breaking off the back of that scrum on the earlier play but now Dharmaraja through Pathirana. Through Hiriya Pitya rather will be throwing in Hiriya Pitya. We'll be throwing into this uh, line out, one comfortably. And Pereira feeds his uh, centers, but big defense there by the Josephians. And the up and under may have just have been a little bit overcooked, and it goes all the way back. And Pereira, the number 10, not doing uh, as well as his team would have liked him to do there. It was a telegraph kick for the winger but just not finding its mark. Yeah, just gave that too much in the eyes. And Ishanaka has the win behind him. Should have opted to go behind uh, and put that ball inside the opposition 22. Yes, it's about playing to the conditions. Sven Muller finding his jumper. And that's Chatra Seneviratna now who receives a good pass from Gunavardhana. Here's Gamanu Chetia stepping inside. Nice offload to Vinul Fernando. Sachit Silva, in fact, it was. Rehan Gunawadana smashed in the tackle. Fantastic defense by the Rajan, stopping the Josephian truck runner in his tracks. Good offloads by the Josephians, keeping continuity going. And now a little bit of space opening up. Rehan Gunawadana waits. And now the Josephians look like they have numbers on the outside. Vinul Fernando stepping. Again, good defense from Dharmaraja. <laughs> Doubling up and uh, taking the ball forward again, St. Joseph's through their big forwards. Prashant Gunavadana thinking about going right, but Sachit Silva again has carried. This is good continuity from the uh, Josephians, good discipline as well. Patiently waiting for Dharmaraja to make a mistake. Going in after that ball was uh, the number six, Appa. And this time opting to kick in the face of some very good defense, but uh, unfortunately for St. Joseph's, they knocked the ball on. Maybe not the best option to have taken there. But it uh, was good defense from the Rajans. They're not forcing the kick from uh, St. Joseph's despite having so many phases. 
Yeah, they made them and no penalties given, uh, just made tackles after tackles. Just held that St. Joseph's uh, team, the dangerous backs rather, not running over that 22 metre mark, kept them there throughout. And that will give a big confidence for the Rajans if they can stop this St. Joseph's line of crossing their crossing their try line and holding them for the next 30 to 40 minutes, it will keep frustrating them. Certainly will. They need to play the game in uh, the opposite half of the field, the Rajans, if they want to keep out this big uh, Josephian pack. But there's been a report from the touch judge. And we're having a bit of a chat from uh, referee Fernando. Keep it down, he tells Marlinga. And they've come back for the uh, penalty. So uh, Marlinga guilty of a high tackle there. Pereira, the skipper, will not be too pleased about that. Crossfield kicks have become very famous now, isn't it? Shanaga, as soon as they spot this space on the far side, they just put the kick behind. Barrett started all over it from the Hurricanes. You saw it uh, uh, today in the Australia versus Scotland match. Couple of kicks going in. Israel Fula scoring one of those. And nice to see Chaturus and Virat also trying that. Well, it's all about whether you've you've uh, practiced it, uh, Dinuk, and I'm not sure the Chatras and Iratna's one was uh, rehearsed. Sachit Silva lining up this kick. He's been a good addition to this uh, Josephian team. He's scoring points for them from uh, all parts of the field, and that one looks like it's uh, bisected the posts, and the uh, first points for St. Joseph's in this first semi-final of the Milo President's Trophy knockout tournament and St. Joseph's lead three points to nil against Almaraja. A great kick, easy angle for a right foot kicker but had the distance, first kick very important, will give a lot of confidence for him going in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the next uh, 70 odd minutes. You saw last week St. Anthony's almost BTC Patana College, just that kicking in the first half of Samuel Madhuanta letting them down. Yes, it looks like a team who can uh, master the wind will be at a bit of an advantage here. So, Damraja playing for the first time on this surface because they didn't have the benefit of a uh, quarter-final. Royal pulling out of the tournament and giving them a bye through to the semi-final. Lots of talking there from the uh, Josephian players can see that they're G'd up for this. They know that this is their chance of getting into the final and perhaps coming away with a big trophy. Watch for Gihan Pereira off the blind side of this scrum, but uh, it's not well controlled and uh, Dharmaraja come away with it. Good run there from uh, Udangamua. Udangamua palming it up to Sandeepa and he's still available for the little scrum off. Gallop it together. Nice inside ball, but it's left behind by Appa. But the uh, referee says there's nothing wrong with that, so they still have it. There's room over the top of this uh, first defensive line if Dharmaraja care to look. Gallop it together again to Pereira. Again, uh, Dharmaraja returning the favour through... Tananjana, lovely bit of play there from uh, the, the Rajans. This is Udangamua. Manages to leave the ball in field, but uh, St. Joseph's have now snaffled it, turned it over, and now they have an opportunity through Sachit Silva's big kick and chasing back is the Rajan number 15, and he does well to get back in time, does Deshapriya. Bundled over the touchline as well by. Sachit Silva, but uh, almost could have uh, ended up in a try for St. Joseph's, but good play nevertheless from Dharmaraja. Yeah, broke the first line of defence, couple of offloads here and there, look at that. Just that offload didn't go to hand. A little unfortunate because it looked like it went backwards and Lefri Rohan Fernando said it was a uh, knock forward. I think that was... Uh, didn't make a difference though. Sachit Silva kicking into space and uh, nicely weighted kick. Here is uh, St. Joseph's attacking again. Here's Chatra Saniratna now. 
good ball carrier for a fly half. And here's some space opening up for the Josephians. Here's Vinul Fernando. Got a man outside him, but uh, opts to uh, take it into the collision. Probably the right decision as well. Yes, big uh, Tehan Seniratna. Good ball carriers in this Josephian front row. Seniratna again. Opting to take the contact. There's nobody on the blind side. And easily dealt with that time by Desha Priya, who read it well, but uh, offside is the call from referee Fernando. And Seni Ratna points to the posts without any hesitation. Yeah, good call in a knockout tournament to get the points on the board. They seems like not getting their tries coming up. Dharmaraja defense holding on very well. And it'll be testing for Dharmaraja Shanaka because in the first round they played uh, St. Joseph's after about 50 to 55 minutes in that game they were gone. And if they can hold up to the entire 80 will be a big question mark. Yes, it does take a toll on your body having to make so many tackles. We saw that today in the All Blacks Maori game against the British and Irish Lions. The amount of tackles that the Maori had to make and eventually told on them in the last half an hour of that game. Sachit Silva once again straight and true through the middle and he gives his team a six point advantage and uh, the Josephian section of the crowd in the grandstand behind us very happy about that so they put themselves more than one try away and that will give them a nice cushion to keep attacking. Strikes it nicely does Sachit Silva very easy stride head falls away a little bit as he strikes it but doesn't matter if it goes through the uprights that's a better kick from Pereira it's knocked forward by uh, St. Joseph so Damaraja will have the first opportunity of a scrum with a inviting blind side but it's on the left so you may see some uh, positive play from the Rajans who've looked willing to run it Dinuk, which is uh, a good thing yeah, they have good ball carriers in 12 and 13 of Buna uh, Udangamo rather and also Marlinga and the skipper at fly half uh, Pereira if he can distribute and ma marshal this back, back line they have I think they, they can match or come closer to this St. Joseph's line Yes, they'll probably have to take route one Yes, Udang Kamua can't hold the ball. They're going to have to not make those errors if they want to have a chance in this semi-final. And Udang Kamua knows what the mistake was and uh, wasn't the greatest pass for him to take either from Galapita Gedera. Scrum under a little bit of pressure, so here's the pass a little too hard. Should just have popped that one to Udang Kamua, but in the end... Sami Shaviranga making a good tackle. This team uh, rallies around Udangamu and they play around him and if he started making mistakes like what happened in that first round game, that's where they'll fall, fall apart. Puno Vodana, that's taken back, so Seni Ratna will pump this one down the park. It's an excellent kick. Nobody really wants it and this might fall into the hands of the Josephian player. And just... Escaping a calamity there, the winger for Dhanmaraja. Neither he nor his fullback seem to want to claim this ball. And the bounce of the rugby ball is uh, so dangerous. And Gamunu Chetia could have been under the post if that bounce was a little kinder for him. Piyatissa on the left wing just didn't know want to know about it. And Deshapriya didn't either. Good ball off the top of the line out. Excellent run from Santush. Good defense there from uh, Dhammaraja behind the gain line. <laughs> Referee Fernando saying holding on. And the Rajans uh, doing well to. Jack all that ball. <laughs> he 
Hero Pity to throw in. Excellently worked line out. Well won there by the number eight. De Silva. Coming back in field was Piatissa. And now Pereira. They've got numbers on the outside. Nice offload. Now space for Udangamua. Udangamua needs to step back in field. He needs to hold the ball first of all though. And the referee may have uh, escaped that knock on. Appa and uh, Nimesh Kavinda exchanging a few pleasantries there. But uh, again, Udangamua, unforced error, Dinuk. And as you said, he needs to be the talisman. Yeah, that's, that's where this game will be won or lost in the first 20 if this Dharmaraja team has to continue uh, mentally, mentally in, this, uh, in the next 60 minutes or so. Buonak Udangamua has to step up, or rather Udangamua has to step, step up. He's the, he's the man who has to lead from the front in terms of uh, playing. Seni Ratna again with the big punt. Piyatissa has stationed himself well, does well to turn and make sure he doesn't knock on. Taken there by uh, Gihan Pereira. And the Josephians will swarm over that ball. Plenty of time for Rashan Gunavadan to, to clear it to Chatra Seniratna. And Seniratna puts in the little cross kick, but this time nobody's running onto it. And Piatissa, again on the left wing, didn't find himself the best position to deal with that. So it looks like it's a tactic that uh, St. Joseph's have talked about before the game, you know. Yeah, it looks like Piatissa is a bit vulnerable under the high ball, and that Chatra Seniratna has spotted that perfectly. Here the replay once again. Gunavardhana gives it to Sani Viratna, who spots the space at the back and there's no one chasing. If that ball was, had he managed to keep that ball in play in between the 22 and the 5 meter mark and a wind record had chased that down, that was a good opportunity. I think they'll exploit that more and more in the game. Looked like Sajid Silva was calling for the kick but uh, didn't have enough pace went from a standing start so couldn't really pressure Piatissa. say it's a good win in the line out for the josephians they've stolen it and Vinul fernando tries to get on the outside of his man just uh, snaffled there by malinga damaraja again flying up on defense Still available for the Josephians who opt to pick and go this time. Still moving forward. This is uh, not a bad move from uh, this big forward pack. Keeping it very tight, inching towards the uh, try line someone's lost a boot in there as well and uh, Rashan Gunawadana gives it back for the drop uh, drop goal attempt but the penalty was coming and, and there's off offside offside Shanaga sorry uh, in that last truck and uh, again uh, St. Joseph's going for the three points quickly changed tactic tried to use their forwards and played it close uh, St. Joseph's there without going for the explosive backs which they have tried and failed in that first uh, first quarter of the game. So, uh, nevertheless, they have not scored tries but the points that, that matters in these knockout games and uh, they will be a very easy one if I am not uh, jinxed him. Yes, easiest kick of the evening for him so far if he's got the other two with uh, consummate ease and this one should just be a formality for Sachit Silva. So they're forcing the penalties and uh, the discipline is what's letting Rajans down. They've got the desire. You can see that the way they're flying into the tackles as Sachit Silva knocks this one over for another three points, the third in a row. But they really just need to keep that discipline, isn't it, Dinuk? 
Yeah, that initial defense uh, from Dharmaraj, no penalties considered except the silly high tackle. That's what that gave uh, the first penalty for St. Joseph's. Here's the kick once again, right in front of the post, couple of steps and slots, slots it over the black dot. They are defending very well, but after about three to four phases, they ju they're just losing the patience that they need to keep up. On the attacking end, they can't afford to let themselves down, dropping balls that they should be hanging on to. Senior Ratna has uh, noticed that uh, Piatissa doesn't like this high ball and he seems to be targeting him, but uh, what a kick that was. A good 70 meter gain as the crow flies. Don't forget to join us on uh, the breakdown, Sudarshan and myself, as we bring you the ins and outs of the Milo President's knockout trophy. We'll tell you who won it, of course, when we come up with our next segment because, uh, well, we actually, we won't. We'll look preview the final when we come to you on our next segment. Don't forget to check out the breakdown this week on the, on, uh, the papri.com. Dharmaraja getting out of jail there. The line-out win was not a good one and Malinga puts in a horrible kick. And it was uh, holding on. Udangamu does really well there. This time leaving the ball behind. Here is Udangamu again, stepping in off his right foot. Still going. Strong runner, this lad. Get a little bit of space for Deshapriya. The pass is not a good one. And Vinul Fernando thought he had a clear run in. But the referees called the advantage, so he's come back for it. Yeah, lucky there for Dharmaraja. They have got a penalty, but uh, once again, uh, unforced errors costing them. Need to get their basics right. This is the first real opportunity. Just outside the 22, they have got a line out throw set piece. It'll be interesting to see how they will uh, manage this. Looks like the Dharmaraja players are already flagging a little bit. Can see a few hands on knees already, Dinuk. So this could be a long afternoon if they don't get some points on the board and stay within touching distance. Here, Pitya has found his jumpers so far and does so again. Nicely won by Appa in the middle of the line out, and they'll now try to drive this forward. Once, says the referee, and he's still going forward. And uh, the little scrum half, Galapi together, getting right in there and urging his forwards on. Coming away with that one was the Hetty Arachi, the big prop forward. Play on, says the ref as that ball is uh, dropped and picked up by the Josephian player who may not have been behind the last foot of the mall and this time the fullback opts to go himself and runs himself into a dead end had a man inside him Dinuk should probably have looked to pass yeah if not for the first time at least for the second time when the man cut in uh, in field he would have passed that that would have opened more space for the Rajans but nevertheless, uh, here the replay once again. There you go onto his left. He had the support player running in about two onto his left also. So that that would have created some space. Missing a trick there, Dharmaraja. Desha Priya looks keen to attack, but he really needs to get some help from his mates, as we see. Dharmaraja collapsing that mall, and uh, referee still having the penalty in place. And uh, that's Hetty Arachi who has been called. In fact, it's uh, not a penalty. It's actually for numbers in the line-out. So the Josephians are opting for the stronger scrum of theirs. Trying to suck in the uh, Dharmaraja defenders. A good call there. Positive one. Yeah, positive call. And uh, they didn't have any option other than uh, just tapping and putting on a big up and under or running. So this will be interesting to see how they go. Vinul Fernando stands in front of Chatura Seniviratna.
Nicely worked move by Rashan Gunavadana and under the posts goes Sachit Silva. A nice set move there. We said it was a positive call from the skipper. And we had a bit of an elaborate move off the ball. Confusing the Dharmaraja defense and allowing Rashan Gunavadana straight through the gap and uh, Sachit Silva finishing it off really nicely. He had some work to do. I had, uh, as I said before, he had been ruled Fernando in front of Chatura Seniviratna, but none of them were needed because they were just uh, foxing that defense who were in front of him. Here's the replay once again. Look at that. Rashan Gunavadana goes in, gives it to uh, Sachit Silva. Lovely step off that left foot. Bang, he went under the post. Well worked first phase try there. Always uh, a treat to watch first phase tries. We saw the All Blacks go a couple of those yesterday against Samoa. And uh, this one was straight out of that playbook as Sajid Silva adds the extras to his own try. So he's got all the points for St. Joseph's already. He's got three penalties, a conversion. And uh, the try as well. So 16 points for Silva. And 16 points for his team. He's the one who had been making the difference on the scoreboard so far. This will be the next interesting phase into going into halftime, Shanaka. How Dharmaraja will pick themselves up and respond to these 16 points on the board. And also the fatigue is already, as you said, setting in. And the, and the last line out that we saw, none of them were not even interested in contesting that. So. As you said, it will be going to be a long evening if they have to continue this style of play and if they're not going to talk talk to each other and uh, get themselves sorted. Yeah, absolutely. You can see they're playing for time here as well. Halftime couldn't come a second too soon for the Amaraja by the looks of things. They've shown a little bit of promise, but unfortunately not been able to hold the ball. St. Joseph's uh, managing to knock that ball on in the restart. 10, 12, 13, 15, everyone just walking to that scrum. And even after that kickoff, no intent of chasing that down. Here's the replay on the knockout once again. It's a good tackle on Nimesh uh, Kavinda. So the Rajans are hitting hard, making their tackles felt, but unfortunately not able to control the ball when they have good possession not making the best decisions either Galapita together to Pereira dummies to Udangamua Udangamua needs to get back on side and get involved in the play he's uh, hanging around and that's a really good kick from Desha Priya the uh, scrum half you, uh, the fullback rather you can see that he's uh, come there to put that grubber in it's something they've practiced and that one was much better than the first yeah, much better because it bounced into touch and into the five meter mark and this will put this is where they need to put a lot of pressure in the line out disrupt that uh, good ball that St. Joseph's might get to clear from here because Chaturas and Viratna has a good boot and he can clear about 40 to 50 meters on the fly any time that one uh, didn't get sacked it was just uh, no defense from Joseph and uh, that one was charged down as a box kick was attempted by Seniviratna. St. Joseph's uh, fighting to exit now in a very s small dead ball area, only about five meters. And over goes number five for Dharmaraja. Ekanayaka somehow manages to score a try after the Josephians had a kick charged down. Seni Ratna's box kick was charged down. And some good defense on the line by the forwards for Dharmaraja, leading to a turnover and a try. So a completely against the run of play. Let's watch it here. They go in and the ball just squirts out from the side and the easiest try ever scored by Ekanayaka. A yeah, good awareness shown there by Ekanayaka was waiting uh, rather Ekanayaka and uh, Deshapriya's kick just hitting the left upright. Not the confidence he wanted off that boot going in but Dharmaraja 
will lift themselves up. Well, 16-7 would have been nice for the Rajans, wouldn't it have, uh, Dinuk? Unfortunately, it's just 16-5. And uh, for the neutrals watching as well, it would have been nice to have a nice tight game. But there's Shapriya's kick just sliding a little bit too far left and coming in off the left hand upright. But let's see whether that momentum shift will be momentary or whether the Rajans can lift themselves now and uh, finish the half a little strongly. And a penalty there from uh, referee Fernando's whistle for sure. As again, it looked like uh, Sachit Silva who went in there and contested in the air. Apa was the man who went up and yes, indeed, he was taken out in the air. So uh, it'll be interesting to see whether the referee pulls a card out here because there seemed to be definite intent. It wasn't accidental. It's a yellow card offence, uh, clearly playing the man in the air, not going for the ball. Clearly there, Sachit Silva, he will be very lucky if he escapes this. We'll watch it here again. Great camera angle to see exactly what happened. Apa went up for the ball and while he's in the air, he cannot be touched. And Sachit Silva coming in and putting his, wrapping his arm around Silva. And uh, tell you, he's very, very lucky to stay on the park. We saw a very similar one from uh, Liam Williams in the uh, game against the Crusaders for the Lions. And he was given a yellow card. And Sachit Silva is very lucky to stay on the pitch. Hitting the side of the boot to Dangaba, just about five meters gained. Nothing much in that. Yes, completely flew off the side. The Papra Light delivering us uh, the lighter side of sports. Uh, inform us of your events on 0777-822-777 or email info at thepapra.com and uh, we'll uh, cover any of your sporting events. Here at PTA into the middle of the line out. It's a completely botched throw. And the referee saying that one uh, swung late like a Mohammed Amir outswinger. Interesting call from uh, the referee. I think if it goes in straight and the wind takes it somewhere, then that's uh, really not the fault of the hooker. Watch it here. Is it kind of aerodynamically dipped like a Rangana Herat delivery? Not sure what the offense was there, you know. Yeah, clearly that ball entered the line out straight. And as you said, some air swing gives an opportunity for St. Joseph's to hit back. Here's Kunavadana. Gihan Pereira coming off the base, trying to free up Chatra Senivirat. And now the second phase, they've got some players on the outside. The pass was not great. What a lovely inside ball. And Sachit Silva thought he'd uh, gone in before a good cover tackle came in on him. Gamunu Chetia involved in that move as well. And here's Sven Muller. 10 meters away from the line. Muller looks like he might go all the way. He's over. But is the ball down? No, says the referee. He's held up. And uh, Sven Muller barged his way over from a fair distance out. But just couldn't uh, put the ball down. Here he is, the two front row forwards. Helping each other on. And Muller's all on his own against a bunch of Dharmaraja jerseys. And just uh, unable to get it down. It looked like uh, the Rajans had done enough to get under that ball. That'll be interesting replay if we can see that once again. If we can zoom into that ball if it was placed or not. I think it's something that uh, the teams practice nowadays. Uh, you know, they know exactly where the cameras are placed and they fly in just to prevent the TMO getting a clear view of what's happening. This is the best angle we can give you. Sven Muller, look at that leg drive. Ball in one hand. Should probably have done better than number one for Dharmaraja. But it looks like there were a few bodies under there and referee Fernando not in a position to conclusively see that the ball was grounded. Yeah, Galopi together, who was, uh, who was just keeping that one hand and body of himself to protect 
the ball hitting the ground. Last week, Shanaka St. Anthony prevented four tries of Isipatana. It's a technique that's taught nowadays how to tackle on the line. Make sure you wrap up the ball and try and get your body under the attacking player. And the Rajans did that pretty well. This is going to be a big scrum for St. Joseph's. They will fancy themselves and uh, Gihan Pereira slotting in in the number one channel. So look for him to go off the blind side here. It's nice and inviting but uh, the referee says that uh, there was a hand in that scrum. And taking it quickly are the Rajans. Not sure whether this was the wisest option but now they've got a little bit of space. And they've sent Sajid Silva all the way back. Gamanu Chetia in fact all the way back and Chetia will cover. That ball never went into the 22. Or he may have uh, just landed outside the 22 when he kicked it. We'll see what happened here. Yep, there is certainly a hand from the Josephian open side flanker there. And then, that, the Alvis. And then, the, sorry, sorry, and then that kicker, he kicked uh, and was been an interesting, interesting replay to see if he was manhandled before. Uh, not letting him chase that kick. It was a bit too far. And an uh, error by uh, the Josephians there giving a 22 meter line out for Dharmaraja. Here a here now. Nicely done in the line out. That was Abe Ratna who won it at the back. And uh, the Rajans still have it. No counter ruck coming in from the Josephians, which is strange to see because. Uh, there was nobody really protecting that ball. Pereira, dummies, Udangamu leaves the ball behind. His handling has really let his team down today. And uh, Deshapriya goes back, but the referee will come back for the knock on. And Udangamu has got the ball on three occasions now in very promising attacking positions. Uh, Dinuk and he's uh, not wanted to hang on to it. Yeah, that's was Dharma. That's was letting them letting down Dharma Raja. Udanga needs to lead from the front because he needs to give that go forward ball for Dharma Raja. He's the one who can make that line breaks. Just take about two to three players, suck in that defense, and then give the ball out. Unfortunately for Dharma Raja, he's not doing that today. It's an important scrum for St. Joseph's to get right. Chatra Seneviratna with the huge kick. Desha Priya will come and he will knock it on. And now some opportunities for St. Joseph's but referee Fernando saying there's no advantage from that knock on. So once again, Dharmaraja squandering good attacking position. And St. Joseph's hitting right back to that huge boot of Seneviratna. Really dominating territory. And there's another opportunity there on the blind side where Seneviratna was standing. There's no one in front. He could have just run and uh, had uh, Fernando on the outside as well. That would have been a very interesting option if he had opted to. Here's the knock-on. That pass off the backhand also not going into the player's hands. An opportunity here for St. Joseph's in the last fight to make a statement. Gian Pereira, Rashan Gunavadana now dummying. Caught uh, in possession by the wing three-quarter on the blind side. Picking and going are the Josephian forwards now. Here's Tehan Seneviratna. Good gain from him. And now they might look for the Flyers. Vinul Fernando's pass is not a good one. And the referee has called stop play for the knock on. Looked like there might have been a bit of advantage brewing for the Rajans there. Excellent tackle from uh, Udangamwa. Look at this tackle on Gamanu Chetia. Superb. He saw him coming and that's what forced a bad pass. 
from Gamunu Chetia. Player was well committed. A lot of people will be asking why isn't that late? Because the player was committed well before the pass was thrown. And Gamunu Chetia coming off a little bit worse for wear off your screen. He's limping back to his position. So Udangamu has uh, hit. Has been an effective one. Hopefully for Dharma Raja he turns that positive defensive way into the attack as well. 37 minutes on the clock, 3 minutes to go under the half. Dharma Raja have to score next if they have to stay in contention. Here's Abhi Ratna going off the back and here's Udangamu now looking for his centre partner Malinga Piyatis showing a, a good bit of acceleration there on the left wing just to step into the gap. Good face play from uh, Dharma Raja there. And again, Pereira leaves the ball behind. And uh, that's a bit of an unfortunate penalty to give away. Don't think it prevented any of the Josephians getting to the ball. So, referee should probably have said accidental offside there because there's no material impact. But Pereira really needs to up his game there. He's uh, been poor with the ball uh, coming to him. And as a fly half, you can't afford that. And as the skipper of the team as well, Shanaka. So, again, they're big two men that we spoke uh, in the pre-match. Pereira and Udangamu are letting the team down for Dharma Raja. Those are the two players who needs to make play for them. Their defensive effort has been good so far, except for that one try and three penalties they have conceded. But their offensive work attack has to improve a lot. Once again, the line out, none of them contesting. Again, numbers in the line out. Referee Fernando very uh, keen to make this call. See, number one is probably the extra man there. Or did he have two receivers? It's not quite clear, but a technical penalty that uh, he gave both ways. So the referee is being consistent. Gihan Pereira controls this one at the back of the scrum for St. Joseph's and uh, his pass off the base is not a good one and Rashan Gunawardhan is forced to knock it on because it was well behind him and very high. So the platform for the Josephians not as good as they'd want it to be. You can see the ball moving around there but Pereira should really have done a little better. He could have milked the scrum penalty also there. They kept in a pushing a little bit more. That Dharmaraj scrum would have broken into pieces. Here's another opportunity again to put a lot of pressure. Exactly what they do, but good uh, channel one ball. And Abhiratna makes a good break from the back. Sorry, De Silva that was. And uh, knock forward is coming. So Dharmaraja just don't seem to want to hang on to this ball. And that's what's letting them down. Uh, Dinuk, they've shown a bit of promise here's De Silva losing the ball in the tackle looked like it might have gone backwards though but the uh, referee deeming it a knock on good tackle on Samisha as well going for ball and man both together good hit just uh, making uh, the Dharmaraj number 8 to lose the ball on contact here's a great opportunity, opportunity for uh, St. Joseph same spot that they had the first scrum That's a much better platform and they're trying the same move again. This time Rashan Gunawadana manages to get it away to his winger. And yet another knock-on. So neither of these teams want to put a few faces together. And I think they'll be both rather happy that uh, the half-time whistle has sounded. We certainly are in the commentary box because it became a bit of a shambles at the end. But uh, at the moment it's uh, 16 points to 5 in favour of uh, St. Joseph's. A convincing uh, display from them at halftime. And it looks like they will confirm their favourite stag unless Dhammaraja, through their key players Pereira and Udangamu, can come up with a few less mistakes in the second essay of 40 minutes. And we'll uh, bring all that to you on the Papare.com in this first semi final of the uh, Milo President's Knockout Trophy.
Don't forget that these two teams are playing for a chance to play the winner of the next semi-final between St. Peter's and Isipathana. And that match is tomorrow from the same venue at the same time. 16 points to 5 at the moment between Dharmaraja and St. Joseph's. We'll be back in just a few moments from the Sugandadasa Stadium. Aya used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's the day everything changed. Milo Energy, from the goodness of milk, malt, barley and chocolate, brings out the best in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life. Fitness Diaries, in a mission to uplift the fitness arena in Sri Lanka. The Breakdown, end-to-end -end Sri Lankan rugby. Samahar Vishleshan and Tienoa, Eva Samahar Lava, Harian that Puluang, Varadin that Puluang Kosa. We get can I finish the Krida Donuska? Apidana Mona the Siduan Nigra, Goda de Katakara and Pulum Pitia and Pitta, Namu, Siala Siduan, Pitia Tuladi. Pitia at the Mata Kata, when the Pulum Pitia Atule Kata, when the Pulang, a cricket Vishleshan at Makabo, Ubata, Samakaranata, Abisudan Migino, Pitia Kata Tulin, Randina Abitek, the Papare.com, Sri Lanka, a Premukotama Krida with Adu Yasama. Pull of the crowd, the overpowering of a tackle, the thrill of scoring, the feeling nothing compares with. Milo President's Trophy. First semi final between St. Joseph's and Dharmaraja on 17 June at 4 15 pm. Second semi final between St. Peter's and Isipathana on 18 June at 4 pm. Live and exclusive on Dialogue Television Channel 1, thepapare.com, and Dialogue My TV. Technique, tactics, attack, defense, pattern. Back to the board, the rugby analysis.
this year prior to the big finale. Legends Rugby Showdown. Legends match. There will be a Legends game. Winning captain since 1995. Captains Lokkuma. Aldo Park. Kaling. Captains were won. Juni Vishyatharavinda. Milo Trophy. Finals Davase. Between the Milo Whites and the Milo Greens. Fans to come and join with us. And I hope you all enjoy uh, witness the game. Knockout final like a balanat. I hope all of you guys will be there. I think Aradhana Karnava. Tina Mamad Balaburtino. It'll be a great day to recall the memories. It's going to be a new experience, fun day before the start of the final. Hope you guys could join us and watch that game as well. You follow Sri Lankan sports, obviously, even while you're traveling. How do you do that? Well, I follow. I, I always keep an eye on the cricket. I know the, the match is starting in a few more minutes. Uh, and the internet is a great way to do it. And, uh, you know, initiatives like the Papare.com, and it gives us so much information, excellent access, excellent insights. And I've noticed now that, you know, I, I, I played the game. There are a huge amount of cricket fans out there. They look at things in so much detail. They demand detail much more than, you know, we have a video analyst for us. Mm. Incredible. These guys want even more detail when it comes <laughs> to, you know, reading about the game. and under So, I think the Papare.com provides all of that beautifully. So, uh, you know, congratulations and well done to the Papare.com because for people like me and for, for millions of other cricket fans around the world to have a, a deep insight, an intricate look into sports and also follow uh, live scores, results and news, that's an ideal way. Well, you're at the right place, sharing the passion here with Kumar Sangakkara. Kumar, thanks very much for joining us here. Aya used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's the day everything changed. Milo Energy from the goodness of milk, malt, barley and chocolate brings out the best in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life. Semi-final between Dharmaraja and St. Joseph's uh, brought to you live and exclusively on the papare.com from the Sukhidadasa Stadium. This is the first semi-final of the Milo President's Trophy knockout tournament. And don't forget uh, several uh, wonderful features coming up for you as fans that you can contribute to the game as well. And you can literally cheer your team on from uh, your couch at home. And we'll tell you exactly how you can do that after we know who is the winner of this uh, semi-final. At the moment, that looks likely to be St. Joseph's, given that they're leading 16 points to 5. But Dinuk, uh, Dharmaraja have shown glimpses. If they can make that final ball stick, there might still be something in this game. Yeah, there should be. And that uh, body language in that half-time uh, didn't look good of Dharmaraja. They need to pick themselves up in, inside the playing field now if they have to compete in the next 40. Senior Ratna again. Puts that ball uh, well out, but uh, doesn't get a lot of distance on his touch finder. Very small in goal areas here at uh, Sukhidadasa Stadium, just about five meters in goal. Here's a great opportunity for them. They had to make a statement early in the second half outside the 22 set piece ball. Yes, and their line out has been pretty decent. Again, one nicely there. So looking to uh, grind this forward a little bit, just suck in a few defenders from the Josephians. Madhuanta joining in there and adding his bulk to the mall. And now together through Pereira. Lovely uh, bit of interplay, but well read. And this time Pereira opts to put the ball in behind, and it's taken by. Piatissa, but the referee says that uh, the ball was out. I think Piatissa's long legs may have touched the uh, touchline. 
Still don't know whose ball it is, but uh, watch it here. That's Pereira putting in the little kick. And it just uh, breaks to the right. And uh, yeah, you can see Pietis' feet and uh, torso just touching the touch line. And the line out is taken, but uh, Dharmaraja now have a second opportunity. The scrum ball is theirs. And you can see that they're a little bit more G'd up now that they've had a rest. And if they can get another try on the board and come within, a, within a one score, then things will start looking interesting again, Dinok. Yeah, and exactly. This is a great opportunity for them to do that. If they, if they miss this, then it will be a big problem for them. I feel for these lads after seeing Bowden Barrett slide through for that try yesterday from that 5-meter mark. Had Piathis played at Eden Park, he would have tried the same as well. But unfortunately, it's in Colombo and you can't slide. Here's the number 8 break coming out the back. De Silva, that was with a good break. Came out quickly. Pereira's pass is a slow one. Udangamua straight through the gap. Still going. Udangamua scores. And that will take them up to 10 points. Udangamu should have had the presence of mind to cut back in and make the uh, conversion a little easier. But that break was set up beautifully by, uh, by De Silva's break from the back of the scrum. And a nice delayed ball, which uh, went straight across the face of the defence. This is the pass that made the try. A nice decoy run from Malinga. And that's the try that just beat the defence. Gamunu Chetuya shooting up just a little bit and too much uh, pace and power from uh, Udangamua for the tackle of Sachit Silva. Yeah, excellent stuff. This is what they're capable of. Dharmaraja, if Pereira and Udangamua can combine like that and play like that in the next 40, set up from faces and give go for forward ball for Dharmaraja, this will be an excellent contest. <laughs> and uh, that's an excellent kick as well from uh, Desha Priya. And uh, if his Original conversion had been just a couple of inches to the right, literally inches. It would have been a two-point game, but uh, it's a four-point game at the moment. 16 plays 12 and they're back within a score. And let's see whether St. Joseph's will uh, now put their pedal to the metal again. Because they seem to have uh, been a little... Vihanga Pereira coming off for John Ganegoda and here's Piatis uh, now having changed his wings and again the, the change to winger this time is Sandeep Sandeep looking to get outside his man Vinul Fernando trying to drag him out into touch but Sandeep does really well to offload that onto Desha Priya and they've turned it over though, little Desha Priya getting completely monstered in that tackle. There's nobody outside for St. Joseph's though, only Sven Muller and uh, very few people outside him. And Malinga makes a good stop on the uh, Josephian hooker. In back play, one of the Joe's uh, players down in trouble. Sami Shaviranga it is. And uh, Chatra Seniratna throwing the big expansive dummy. Unfortunately, his feet slipping from under him. He looked like he might have had what it takes to uh, go through himself. Udangamu flies up and makes an important tackle. And Josephs now have lost a little bit of structure, but uh, they'll need to settle things down. That's better for Muller. Again, uh, makes that telling drive. Some excellent body position. Inside the 22, St. Joseph's know what their plan is, and that's to keep it close. Russia and Gunamodana. Stepping twice, stepping beautifully, is Chatura Seniviratna. Kind of step that uh, Tim Nanai Williams would have been proud of there. And uh, not releasing in the tackle, says. Uh, Referee Fernando and Vinul Fernando has uh, no hesitation in pointing to the posts and Sachit Silva will almost certainly oblige his skipper. Here's the replay once again of that. Straight away conceding a penalty there, Hetiarachi. 
Ral Maraj prop right in front of the post for St. Joseph's to hit back, hit back and make this a seven point game still within striking distance Dharmaraja will be which will keep them motivated for the next 40 Silva slots this in between the posts and he has scored all the points 19 points of Sachit Silva against Dharmaraja's uh, 12 19 points for Sachit Silva and 19 points for St. Joseph's Five points adrift are Dharmaraja after they scored first in the second half through a good try from Udanga Moore converted by Deshapriya as we watch uh, Sachit Silva slot that one home with uh, relative ease. Seniratna now puts it high and out. And uh, there will be a good attacking platform once again for Dharmaraja. It's very important that the Josephians don't relax now that they've got out back to a seven point margin. Winning it in the end was Pathirana. Pereira looping around finds the ball to Sandeepa, the winger who has come in off his left wing. And here's Udangamua now. Need to uh, sort this out and uh, straighten it up through here, Apitya. And that's a good ball for Hetya Rachi. Pathirana. Pathirana's pass to Malinga is not a good one. Should have just come back in field. Looking back at his bench, Patrana, knowing that he's made a mistake. This is the pass that should probably have not gone to hand because there was nowhere for Malinga to go. Should have stepped in field and uh, had Malinga and Hetty Arachi over that ball. Recycled it. This is where players need to make better decisions, Zinuk. A lot of the time, Sri Lankan players get bundled out into touch when they really shouldn't. Uh, I think with nowadays, with the speed and the size of the players and the cover defence coming so fast, once you get to that 5-metre line, if you have a player extra, he should cut back in uh, rather than staying on the outside field. And uh, it, it should be a norm that everyone has to follow, that it's very little space nowadays. It's just a push that will give in, give in to touch. And the defensive teams use the touch line as uh, as a uh, part of the team member as well to use that touch line uh, and push them into touch touch line is often the extra man on defense they did it well that time Desha Priya and uh, Sandeepa but the three on rushing uh, Josephians chase was really good and picking up and going for Dharmaraja was Rajapak, uh, the try scorer, Ekanayaka. And hands on the floor, says uh, the referee from the arriving Josephians. Not supporting their own body weight, so. That's a call that we see quite often here. Yeah, throughout this school season, and even the last, last year's season, that happened. Maybe unfortunate, Shanaka there didn't see a clear uh, placement of her hand. The, the player who cleaned up that ruck went into clearing that uh, opposite option player as well. So uh, maybe someone that uh, Roshan has picked up. I thought play should probably have gone on. Everybody just uh, went to sleep there a little bit and Ekanayaka was the only man switched on. Didn't see a lot wrong with that breakdown and... Uh, Ekanayaka made a few meters. And again, here a pit here. After things had been working so well for them, goes to the front of the line out. And he ends up losing the ball. Chatra Seniviratna hooks this one. Right round for Udangamo. It goes straight through his hands. And now an opportunity for Desha Priya. Now Piyatissa. He's got a lot of space to run into now. Gamunu Chetia waits for him. So does Sachit Silva. Piatissa goes on the outside. And uh, Sachit Silva makes a good tackle in the end. 
And Pia Tisha looked like he just might have had enough pace. But uh, it was a Technique, tactics, attack, defense, pattern, back to the board, the rugby analysis. Breakdown, end to end Sri Lankan rugby. It doesn't matter what you think. The first rule is trust yourself. Fitness Diaries, in a mission to uplift the fitness arena in Sri Lanka. Samahar Vishleshane Anthi Enova, Eva Samahar Lava Ta Hariyan Dath Kuluwaan, Varadhin Dath Kuluwaan Kosa. Cricket Kane Avinishtha Kreeda Vak Dhanushkya. Api Dhanne Munaadu Siddhuwaan Nekela, Godadde Kathakaran Pulluwaan Pitiyaan 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 Siyaal Siddhuwaan Nekela, Pitiyaan Tula Di. Pitiyaan Aetha Maetha Kathaa Venna Pulluwaan, Pitiyaan Aetula Ek Kathaa Venna Pulluwaan, E Cricket Vishleshane Aetha Maetha Kavu Obata Samakaran Nata Api Sudhaane Mingi Innova, Pitiyaan Kathaa Tula In. Randa Inna Api Tekka The Papare.com Sri Lanka Ave Premukotama Kreeda Ave Aduye Samar. Aya used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's the day everything changed. Milo Energy, from the goodness of milk, malt, barley and chocolate, brings out the best in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life. Technique, tactics. Attack, defend, pattern, back to the board, the rugby analysis. It doesn't matter what you think. The first rule is trust yourself. Fitness Diaries, in a mission to uplift the fitness arena in Sri Lanka. Okay, this year prior to the big finale, Legends Rugby Showdown. Legends match. There will be a Legends game. Winning captain since 1995. Captains Lok Kumar, Aurudishi Park, Kalim Hitupukatya. Captains were won. Just that the Juni Vishyatravinda. Milo Trophy. Finals Davase. Between the Milo Whites and the Milo Greens. Fans to come and join with us. And I hope you all enjoy uh, witness the game. Knockout final like a balanat. I hope all of you guys will be there. I think Aradhana Karnoa. Tina Mamad Balaburutte Noa. It will be a great day to recall the memories. It's going to be a new experience, fun day before the start of the final. Hope you guys could join us and watch that game as well.
සමහර විශ්ලේෂණය යන් තියෙනවා ඒවා සමහර ළමයිට හරියන්නත් පුළුවන් වරදින්නත් පුළුවන් කොහොමද ක්‍රිකට් කියන්නේ අවිනිශ්චිත ක්‍රීඩාවක් ධනුෂ් කියලා අපි දන්නේ නැහැ මොනවාද සිදුවන්නේ කියලා ගොඩක් දේ කතා කරන්න පුළුවන් පිටියෙන් පිටත නමුත් සියල්ල සිදුවන්නේ පිටිය තුලදී පිටියේ ඈත මෑත කතා වෙන්න පුළුවන් පිටියේ ඇතුලේ කතා වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඒ ක්‍රිකට් විශ්ලේෂණාත්මකව ඔබට සම කරන්නට අපි සූදානමින් ඉන්නවා පිටියේ කතා තුලින් රැඳෙන්න අපිත් එක්ක thepapare.com ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේ ප්‍රමුඛතම ක්‍රීඩා වෙබ් අඩවියේ සම Aya used to say when the going gets tough the tough get going that's the day everything changed milo energy from the goodness of milk malt barley and chocolate brings out the best in you milo fueling the winning spirit nestle good food good life Sincere apologies for that uh, breakdown in transmission. You'll be happy to note that there has been no change in the scores. But the Amaraja have uh, begun to be a little adventurous. As Chatra Saniratna puts that one halfway to the moon. And the chase is excellent from uh, Sajid Silva who's having a storming game today. And now Vinul Fernando just dragged down. and the big man for san joseph strundling that one forward finally finding themselves in a little bit of uh, space the josephians handling letting them down as well this time looks like whoever plays at this half of the field and the handling is going to let them down good tackling from uh, the dharmaraja second row there playing at uh, strom off is channa asoka chatra saniratna again a barnstorming run from the big uh, fly half offside is the call from referee fernando and he's got his arm up for advantage such it silva nice little offload from samish holding on says the referee and uh, he'll go back for the penalty and again you can uh, bet your bottom dollar that vinul fernando will point to the posts and uh, try to go 10 points ahead good call from uh, vinul fernando and now the crowd of both teams are getting behind uh, the respective school teams and uh, it's going to be a good passage of play the last 20 impressed with dharma dushanaka today they have managed to stay in the game till the 60th minute this is where they will have to score two times to come back into the game unlike the first uh, round game they have they have uh, improved a lot in this Yes, they've had a good break as well, haven't they? They look they uh, didn't have uh, to get their bodies smashed against Royal College. St. Joseph's had a tough quarter final against Wesley. So, uh, they're fresh. Sometimes that can mean that you're not match fit, but this time it's worked in their favor. You're never really sure how how this will impact teams, but uh, it's never an exact science as Sajid Silva scores his 22nd point of the afternoon. And St. Joseph's 22nd point as well. Thank you. 
Udangamu lets this hang up in the air, but uh, it hangs a little bit too long. And the exact same mistake that uh, was made by St. Joseph's with the first kickoff is made this time as well. So they'll come back to the center scrum, and the Josephians will have another chance to get further up ahead. Another great opportunity for St. Joseph's to put this game to bed. A secure spot in the final. They're very close to that St. Joseph's, but you never know. Isipatana scored four tries, three tries last last week against St. Anthony's. Chan Nasoka. That's a nice uh, long ball over the top, but it doesn't find the hands of Kavinda. So St. Joseph's literally throwing that one away. Really wasn't uh, a good pass. It was the right idea. And don't forget to follow us on uh, social media. Thepapri.com is on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter and Google+. Plus, as well, all your social media platforms. So look for thepapri.com and uh, follow us for all the latest action. Straight over the top. And that one falls for Madhuanta, who hasn't carried enough for, for Dharma Raja. That ball looked like it was available, but the referee calling them back. And the scrum is not an area where Dharma Raja will be too happy to contest. Here's that replay once again. Yeah, touch the St. Joseph's player. So we've seen a replacement as well. Dananjana comes on in place of uh, Madhuanta on the loose head side of the scrum, the near side to you as you watch at home. And De Silva goes off quickly. It's a good run from the number eight. And Buaneka Udangamua, Udangamua rather, will drop this one into the 22. It's a good chase back. And Sandeepa is the man who's creating trouble there for the Josephian defense. And he does really well. Sandeepa doesn't go off his feet. And uh, taken quickly by Dhammaraja. That didn't look like the Josephians were 10. Camped out on the line. A meter or so short at the moment. They'll need their big men to come in and carry this ball. Ekanayaka looking for his second try of the evening. Referee's got his arm up for a high tackle. Damaraja inching closer towards the posts as well. And uh, nothing coming, so they will come back for the penalty. Five meters away, and it's a quick tap and go. Gallopi together. That's a long pass out. And Piyatissa can pick this one up. He does. Looks for Desha Priya, the little uh, fullback who has been dancing through the uh, Josephian defense today. He's been in the wars, but he's made it available. And this time, the smaller mate, Desha Priya, just running out of a little support. And despite his best efforts, the big Josephian jackal is well over him and uh, turning the ball over. So Dharma Raja had men on the outside just before that second penalty came. They opted to stay with their forwards. Had they tried with that advantage coming in, I, I'm sure there would be an opportunity for them to go for five or, more, or even seven. Here's once again Desha Priya not getting enough support and conceding that penalty for St. Joseph's. And when you concede a penalty for St. Joseph's, you have to come 40 meters back, that's for sure. And that's where... Uh, Chatura Seniviratna have sent his forwards to compete in the lineout. Absolutely, it, uh, it is a massive deficit in territory. And the decision making for Dharmaraja has not been the best. Desha Priya waits again, takes it beautifully. He's only a small man, just about three feet high, but uh, he's got a big heart. And he took that excellently in the face of uh, a good chase. Kalapi together. 
No space for him to move. Looking for a willing ball carry outside. And uh, Udangamu's kick is a terrible one. Comes straight off the side of his boot. He's got a very distinctive way of kicking the ball, but uh, that time it just didn't work out for him. And Udangamu has uh, scored a try and kept Dalmaraja in the game, but he's made a few costly mistakes today, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Uh, yes, I think he has scored five points and have lost about good 10 to 15 years that kick once again hitting other side of that boot referee playing advantage for St. Joseph's once again ball comes out looking to give yes Seniviratna trying to run through steps off one Chatura Seniviratna has Chetia inside will not need him Chatura Seniviratna scores for St. Joseph's And the margin extends, Shanaka. 65 minutes on the clock. What a run from Chaturas and Viratna. About three steps and that power he showed to go off that line. Outstanding run, Dinuk. And uh, this is why I was surprised that St. Joseph's brought him back into number 10. Because I thought he was playing better rugby when he was playing in the inside center position. He knew that he didn't need his support player. Although Kavinda was herring up outside him. When he runs onto the ball rather than when he takes it in the fly half position, he's so much more of a threat because he can step both ways and he's got uh, huge power on him. So it really is good to see him running onto that ball rather than being a distributor because his distribution skills aren't the greatest. So if you've got him receiving the ball in positions where he can run into a gap, that's where he's dangerous for St. Joseph. So I'll be surprised if he doesn't move out to number 12. If St. Joseph's make the final, which they look like they will. Especially if Sajid Silva keeps kicking like that. He's got all but five of the Josephian points this afternoon. And he's having a storming game. And Dhammaraja now may have left this a little bit too late. They've had opportunities, but just not been able to convert them. Good crowd support for both teams today. The stadium is packed. Yes, as we said at the outset, uh, Dinuk, it is a historic moment for either one of these teams. Whichever one wins this game, they'll make it to the first ever of their knockout tournament finals. Starting the De Silva with a big run there from the flank. Ball just uh, eluding everybody. But St. Joseph's have done well to recover this one. And here's Muller. Has been good with the ball in hand today, Sven. And here's Tehan. Seniviratna doesn't want to be left behind. Carrying it just after his front row mate does. And here's the try scorer, Chatra Seniviratna, stepping again. Coming in off the right foot. Runs straight into Udangamu, who is about the same size as him. And now Tarindu again. Goes left. Makes uh, some good meters, gets beyond the gain line. Tehan Seniviratna trying to drag men towards the line like Gulliver in Lilliput. And here they go again. Sachit Silva looks for the long pass and Vinul Fernando, the skipper, will score. So the floodgates have opened for St. Joseph's. And Vinul Fernando in his uh, distinctive pink boots has got over the line. The skipper has scored. And that looks like the writing is on the wall for Dharma Raja. Yeah, what a try it was and it was made of faces. This is what Nilufa wanted, would have wanted to see from St. Joseph's. That last bit of hands, Gamunu Chetia, lovely time pass to put his keeper on the outside to score that. But Shanak, how this try was scored is what will please uh, Nilufa because the forward sitting up in the centres and then the backs doing the work uh, on the flanks, both sides. It was Chatura Seniviratna who carried the ball on the right side and then uh, Gamunu and Vinul Score, scoring to finish off that move is brilliant. And let's not forget the contribution also of uh, Tarindu Dialvis, 
who carried the ball inside the inside his own half and then inside the 22 again carried it to telling effect and if San Jose can see a little bit more of Sven Muller and Tehan Seniratna taking it up at close quarters then Tarindu Seniratna softening up the defense and if then they can get their wide men against the uh, well that's the second kick we've seen coming off the upright this time off the right hand upright and Sajid Silva misses for the first time this afternoon and uh, 34 points he's got 24 of them he would have liked a perfect record but I think his coach will be happy enough and that's his last contribution Sajid uh, Silva as he goes off the park for a well-earned rest. So it's 34 points to 12. And uh, Dharmaraja, after having scored first in the second half at 12-16, would have thought there was still a match in it, but then they conceded immediately a penalty. And it's been no looking back for the Josephians since then. Uh, you know, it has been an impressive performance. Yeah, it has been. And uh, here's Udangamo once again giving a lot of air in that ball. Restart. Josephs have managed to secure inside their own 22. And will go back to Chatura Senviratna, who's parked himself there as the first receiver. And puts a huge kick. And a good take as well. Galapit together is stepping, finds Appa. Appa has been good today in the flank position for Dharmaraja. Here's the skipper Pereira. Tarindudu Alves flying up in defense. Here's Udangamu stepping nicely. Nice tries to get Piatis uh, away. Should probably have passed, but uh, hangs on to it and now may have conceded the turnover. So again, uh, not the best decision for Udangamu who's having a kind of game that uh, his team won't be thanking him for. But luckily for him, Senior Ratna's kick was uh, from the 22 and it, the ball was carried back by St. Joseph. So they'll come all the way back. And uh, Damaraja will have an opportunity to get beyond the halfway line in terms of scores. Too much left for Dharmaraji to come back in that last nine minutes. There's another change coming up. Looks like it's Hasita Vijayasekara who comes on. And Tehan Seniratna will get a rest as well. He's been good today. In fact, it may be Tiraka Santosh who uh, goes off. Yes, Dharmaraja put in that rolling mall and uh, have got about good 20 meters close to the try line. Well, they drove that nicely, didn't they? The Josephians just not expecting anything there. And the referee saying that there was an entry from the side. Galapi together takes it quickly. Malinga coming back on the angle. Here's uh, Pereira now. To Dangamo. This is from uh, the kind of distance that he scored his try from. Nice offload. Excellent offload, in fact, to uh, Kapuatta. Great defense there from uh, Kavisha. But uh, referee says he was holding on. Taken quickly by Appa now. Appa's run away from his defense. He'll need them to get there quickly. Not 10 meters, says the ref. So uh, there might be a card shown here, but there isn't. Referee's kept his card in his pockets today. And Galapita Gedra will look for one of his forwards to smash this one up. That's a big hit on Rajapaksa. Still makes the ball available though. And Galapé together again to the big man coming in on a nice angle. Yeah. 
So Rajans this time doing to Josephs uh, what they did to them, giving them a dose of their own medicine. Pereira gets that away and Piatissa now may get a run into the line. But it's a beautiful cover tackle. An outstanding bit of work from Vinul Fernando who for all money looked like he was beaten. But came through and Piatissa, you can see him just getting to his feet. He knows that that's an opportunity that should have been taken. Excellent work from Vinul Fernando. His pink jet boots getting him there just in time. Don't forget to join us on uh, Football 360, the weekly review of local and international football on thepapare.com. Lots to talk about on that show as well, so uh, join us. Nehan Pereira coming on. For the Josephians. And Sven Muller waits. And uh, finds the uh, jump of Nimesh Kavinder. The Josephian set piece has been one of the uh, better aspects of their performance today. As Chatra Seniviratna dummies and runs five meters before he thumps this one into touch. Every time Chatur Senivrasna puts the ball onto his boot, it's 40 meters guaranteed plus even more than that. And he has given a lot of go forward ball for Joseph's College throughout the season, but today it's been fantastic. He really has uh, the nook. So demoralizing for the opposite forward pack when you know you've got to go 40, 50, sometimes 70 meters back. Beautifully stolen in the line-out. That's the third time that St. Joseph's have done that. They've clearly read this Dharmaraja line-out and know where the ball is going. So here they've uh, got a little bit of an opportunity now to try and counter-attack. This is the kind of rugby that they will have to play against the winner of tomorrow's game. Sirenuratna just losing his footing there. And Sandeepa takes that one well. Looks for Desha Priya, his fullback, who comes in on the angle. And makes the ball available. He's had a good game, Desha Priya, at the back for the Josephians. Gallop it together now. Puts this one into a space that uh, Piatissa can uh, run into. But again, Piatissa didn't uh, appear to anticipate that kick. Nilufa Ibrahim emptying his bench, giving all of his uh, players in the bench a lot of exposure. So nothing really happening outside Galapi together. He has to put the kick in. And you can see where Piatissa started from. It was way back. And a former standing start as well. Massive row for Sven Muller as he comes off the park. He's done really well today. He's found his jumpers in the line out honoringly. And also carried the ball to really good effect. He gets a deserved hand as he comes off the park. Beautiful uh, line out win. And again, the bounce of the ball undoes Piatis as it has done this whole game. And uh, it's two minutes to go, Dinuk. We've got to discuss a man of the match. The man who's got uh, 24 points is Sachit Silva, of course. Beautifully taken at the front by uh, Dharmaraja. And uh, Buanika Udangamua takes it back. That's a nice pass to Desha Priya. He steps back on the inside. Now needs some support. Manages to make the ball available. And Ratnavira takes it forward. Big pot of uh, forwards in midfield for Dhammaraja. Appa has been one of the better players for Dhammaraja today. The chase is on, but uh, Sandeepa looks like he might win this chase. 
trying to run away from the defence and he goes uh, sideways and finds his opposite winger, Piyatis, uh, who puts this onto the halfway line. But he was well read by Chatra Saniviratta, who now will try and go towards the corner flag all by himself. Steps nicely, steps off his left foot. This is Gihan Pereira. Nehan Pereira, who's just come on. Well offside are the uh, Dharmaraja defenders. And Minul Fernando now puts his ears back, goes towards the corner flag, but dragged down desperately in defence. Tarindu De Alvis now. Good carry from him as well. Ball went back, says uh, the referee and uh, Kavinda. Joseph's looking to get close to the 40 point mark. Senu Ratna stepping back on the inside. This is good control at close quarters from the Josephians. Yulufa Ibrahim will be happy about this continuity from his team. Minul Fernando Dummies. Algama, in fact, it was. That's excellent work from the number 22 for Dharma Raja. Raja, that was. Did really well to rip that ball away, but uh, there was a penalty conceded previously. And Chatra Saniviratna. He uh, didn't take the tap properly. Well, that's a real shame. He could have had it right. So the Rajans now will want to uh, thump this one into touch and be over and done with. So we haven't really decided on uh, the man of the match, uh, Dinuk. Sachit Silva, Chatra Seniratna has had a good game as well. And uh, Tharindu De Alvis in the forwards. So, uh, I'm open to suggestions. And again, that ball squirting forward. And the game is over. So, we'll probably have to give it to the man who scored all the points almost for St. Joseph. So, Sachit Silva is our man of the match today. Minor, fueling the winning spirit. Sajid Silva who scored 24 points and not just for the points, the fact that he actually was involved in a lot of the play, made uh, quite a few defensive uh, plays as well. And uh, Sajid Silva gets our Man of the Match award today. Well done to the uh, Rajans. They put up a spirited performance for about uh, 65 minutes in that game, Dinuk, and after that the conditioning was just too much. Yeah, that's what I, was, uh, I mentioned in the pre-match as well. Does Dhar Dharmaraja have this quality to play the entire 80 minutes? Yes, 65, not after that, as you said. And a couple of players, standout players there for them as well. Their fullback, Desha Priya, had a very good game. Herpa at number six also was good. But a uh, couple of opportunities that they got uh, was uh, not converted into points, as you can see on screen. Former teammates for Candy Sports Club hugging each other, the coaching staff from both teams. Nilufa Ibrahim, of course, the happiest, taking uh, St. Joseph's into the into the into the finals of the knockouts and he has uh, turned this uh, st joseph's team's team into gold and a big game for him next next week absolutely he will set his sights on it i think they had big expectations coming into the league tournament as well st joseph's and if they can cap off their season with uh, a win in the knockout tournament i think that will suffice for them prasad chaturanga and anuranga walpola played together for candy and they are part of this coaching staff now for Dalmaraja. It's a work in progress, this Dalmaraja team. And uh, look, look out for them next year. They've got the raw materials. And they will be a force to be reckoned with, I'm sure, as uh, most of these players get a little bit more experienced. Don't forget that um, 
if you're a Josephian fan and you're watching this broadcast, save this number, 0720-760-160. That's 0720-760-160. And if you give a missed call to that number on the day of the finals, you will be able to cheer for your team because there will be automated speaker towers and each missed call to this number it's good to see from uh, both teams taking a bow towards the fans to so see the breakdown there St. Joseph's 34, Dharmaraja 12 3 tries to 2 so not much in it in the tries column but several penalties uh, that Dharmaraja conceded early on in the game was what really took it away from them 5 penalties for Sachit Silva 2 conversions to him as well plus a try so he is our man of the match so don't forget to Save this number if you're a Josephian fan, 0720-760-160. And uh, we will be providing a very, uh, very unique feature called the 16th Man, where you can give a missed call to that number and be part of the cheering for your team at the final. So Josephian fans, make sure you write that number down and you become the 16th man for your team on the day of the final. Who will they be playing? We'll find out tomorrow. St. Peter's take on Isipatana at the same venue, the same wonderful venue, which is now hosting again the Milo Knockout Tournament after a lapse of a few years. And it should be an outstanding game of rugby. St. Peter's beat Isipatana in the league, uh, in the league match between those two teams. They've got nothing to lose. Isipatana will be the favourites. But with Chamoth Fernando not in the best of health, who knows? what uh, what Thiksena uh, Dasana again, Diaz Fernando can unleash on the broken field running tomorrow afternoon. Join us for that on the papare.com. Thanks for sharing the passion of this uh, Milo knockout tournament with us. We'll join you tomorrow from Dinuk and myself in the commentary box with the papare.com and from our production team, it's goodbye for now. Okay, this year prior to the big finale. Legends Rugby Showdown. Legends match. There will be a Legends game. Winning captains since 1995. Captains Lokkuma. Aurudu Park, Kaling Hitupukatte. Captains were won. Juni Vishyataravinda. Milo Trophy. Finals Davase. Between the Milo Whites and the Milo Greens. Fans to come and join with us. Yeah, and I hope you all enjoy uh, witness the game. Knockout final like a balanath. I hope all of you guys will be there. I think Aradhana Karnava. Dina Mamad Balaburutte Noa. It will be a great day to recall the memories. It's going to be a new experience, fun day before the start of the final. Hope you guys could join us and watch the game as well. Aya used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's the day everything changed. Milo Energy, from the goodness of milk, malt, barley and chocolate, brings out the best in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life.